Hi guys, um, it's just come to my attention that a third game now has been confirmed for um, native 4K rendering on the PS4 Pro, and it's going to be 60 frames per second as well. That third game is Smite, the uh, little indie darling that's going around right now. So th that's pretty interesting actually. So now we have three confirmed native 4K games and one of them is 60 frames per second. But, um, actually, what I really wanted to talk about, what I really wanted to talk about, well, actually, what I wanted to really talk about, again, is 4K is actually, it's a big deal, but it's not as big a deal as HDR. HDR is really the bigger deal, and this is basically the future of lighting and color. Um, HDR10 is basically a new color and lighting method for future TVs, or TVs that have it now, because it's a, it's, it's a new spectrum of color and lighting. Um, basically, like on standard TVs, we could um we we could see up to like 16.8 million colors well with HDR it's just over a billion different colors but that's not the only thing that's important about HDR what's important is the lighting HDR allows for a new level of lighting per pixel that brings up simulated realistic lighting to areas to give the feeling that you're looking at real life and not a TV screen. How, how do I explain this further? Um, imagine you're watching a scene, right? And there's like the sun on the horizon. And it's not setting, it's actually pretty bright in the sky. Now, on a regular TV, it would show just like a blurring out of white patches and stuff. But with HDR10, which is 10-bit color, we have the ability to actually simulate the actual aural lighting of the sun to the point where you might actually have to need sunglasses to look at it directly. Perfectly. You see, uh, um, an, an, another thing is that the, uh, the, the lighting is so advanced on HDR. A regular TV does around 100 nits. Nits are a, a unit of measurement that, um, that's used for the aural luminescence of a lighted source per square meter. And a standard TV, when it comes to their pixels, they, they do around 100 nits. With HDR10, it goes beyond 100 nits, up to 1,000 to even 4,000 nits to actually simulate that lighting. Another example, imagine a lit candle, right? And there's a red center within the, uh, within the yellow flame. A standard TV might not show that red center. HDR10 will. It will show that brightness and it will show that hidden red center. HDR is the real game changer. And even though they announced HDR and a firmware upgrade for all PS4s, it makes me still wonder how effective is the HDR in the base PS4 going to be compared to the PS4 Pro? Because nonetheless, it's still the real game changer because we're talking about simulating actual lighting sources with just the right display. It's a huge deal and it really should be talked about more. Gules one signing out.